Good morning! As you can tell, today I am vlogging. I was looking online last night and I saw a lot of my favorite handbag brands have launched their holiday collection. So I want to go check them out in person so that I'm able to curate a wish list for myself and show you guys the styles in person so you can kind of see how they compare to my body because everything looks different in person than it does just online. So I want to get a feel for the holiday collections before I talk more in depth about them. So we're gonna check out my favorite contemporary brands handbag collections. And then of course, it is not a Morgan Turner vlog without the foodie content. So <laughs> I went to head over to the Asian grocery store over there and pick up some groceries as well. So I'm just sitting down to get ready for the day. It is eight in the morning and I figured I'd play with some items that I got from my BoxyCharm boxes that just came in. Very exciting because today's video is sponsored by BoxyCharm. Now, if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription service that curates the best in beauty. So you're gonna get skincare, makeup, and hair care in these boxes, and they're going to be delivered right to your door with free shipping. And depending on your membership, Charmers can choose up to three items in their box, which is new since I subscribed years ago. And there also is a beauty quiz that you take that BoxyCharm will use to customize your boxes as well to make sure you like the items that you got. And another perk that I feel like not enough people talk about is that you get exclusive access to shopping experiences like the Boxy Beauty Bash where you can get crazy discounts like I know there's been like Natasha Denona palettes, Vizier palettes on there for like dirt cheap so I think that that alone is a really really great perk. So let's take a look at what are in my boxes this month. I've been a member of BoxyCharm for see I was a senior in college I think when I joined. I used to do YouTube videos on my monthly BoxyCharms and it was really great for me at that point in my life because I didn't have a lot of money. I was a student and it allowed me to get full-size products without having to pay the retail price. So it's a really good deal if you want to kind of build your collection, get some new items, test new items because makeup and everything is expensive nowadays. So let's first take a look at what is in my base box. So this is the box that is a little bit more affordable. So the first product that we have, this one I think is the most exciting. This is the Item Beauty in my Element eyeshadow palette. The price on this is $24. So I'm gonna open it. And I doubted Item Beauty at first, I did, but then I've tried some of their products and they've been really, really good. Not tried an eyeshadow palette from them before. Oh wait, this is gorgeous and it's really neutral so I think a lot of people are going to love this I've never seen this before either that is very beautiful what else do we have I know we have some skincare one of my favorite skincare brands Saturday skin we get the pretty pop probiotic power whipped cream Ooh, look at this I believe this is a newer item now I love this packaging this is $57 we also have this cream bronzer from the brand less beauty it is 18 dollars here's what it looks like this is a decent color so a cream bronzer we have a amina macaroon lip scrub look how pretty this looks now this is 18 dollars oh it literally feels like i'm putting candy on my lip mm. Kind of tastes good. Okay, and I was like eating it and I was like, let me try to make sure this is edible. It says you can lick it off because it's made of real sugar. That was like a little morning treat. <laughs> and then the last item I have in my box is this Sophia and Maybell Lip Slick Fruit Lip Oil. And I'm looking at the card that they get so I can give you guys the correct details. So this is $22. Oh my gosh, this is such a pretty color. Ooh, okay, so that was what was in the base box this month. Honestly, really cool items. This is a good box. Let's see what's in the premium box. Now the premium box, a little bit of a better deal. You spend a little bit more, but you get a little bit more. And I already see what I am super excited about. So there is a full-size eyeshadow palette from Dominique Cosmetics. I haven't bought a palette of theirs in a while, but the ones that I do have, from them are amazing whoa okay this packaging very very high quality this is the dominique the moment palette Ooh, 
I am wearing this palette today. Look at that. This is gorgeous. So this palette is $49. So pretty. And again, it's a neutral palette. I think a lot of you guys are going to like that one. That's a really exciting product that's included. Next, we have this Avant Skin Care Deluxe Hyaluronic Acid Vivifying Face and Eye Night Cream. So I won't be testing that today, but that's a good skincare product. Ooh, Paracone ND. We have the Micellar Cleansing Treatment. I really enjoy micellar-based products. This is $45, and hold up the Avant Skin Care. $134 retail value. What the heck? This is from Complex Culture. This is the executive level mascara. It's $28. It's in this cute square packaging. I'll use this today. We have the St. Lux Morganite and Carnelian Gel Lip Liner Duo. So we get two lip liners for $30 is the retail price. And you get a brown and a red. Both of these are great for fall. And then last item in this box, but it is an exciting one. This is from Rare Beauty. And this is the With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm. I can't believe they have Rare Beauty in these boxes. So this is $16 retail value. And comes in i love this formula i have this formula in other shades so this one is in the shade thankful Ooh, i'm gonna wear this today it might not really go with my outfit but i don't care it's so pretty okay you guys know me my favorite thing in the world is just playing with new makeup so <laughs> i am going to use some of these new products i'm going to start off with the less beauty cream bronzer so let's see. I'm just going to do a little bit. I'm not going to go for really heavy makeup today because I think I'm going to wear a bolder lip based on the colors that came in the box. So I'm just going to do a natural bronze. I was debating which eyeshadow palette I wanted to use because the Dominique looked really exciting and so did the item beauty. And I want to use this on the lid. So this is what we're going to use. It was a hard choice. I'm going to start off with this palette with the shade essential right here and i'm going to apply this to the outer corner and then we're going to blend Ooh, it's pigmented a little bit going on the lower lash line as well i'm just using a fluffy brush for this too i'm going to use the shade embrace lately i've been using a lot of like matte really light shades all over the lid i think they just freshen up the eye and keep the look really simple this one is super pigmented too and i'm keeping a lot of white in this inner corner area everything nice and bright and i have to use one of these shimmer shadows because they look stunning so i'm going to go into a little bit of denaro and i'm just going to put it right in the center of my eyelid i mean i have experience with dominique cosmetics I knew this was going to be a good quality palette. And then last thing I'm going to do, I'm taking some of Elevated, which is this dark brown on an angled brush. And I'm just going to create a really thin, easy liner. I have to look down at the mirror for this, so excuse me. You see just a nice, tiny, everyday wing. And we're going to pop on some mascara. I'm using this Complex Culture Mascara. Now, I have pretty small lashes and first use mascaras I don't really enjoy. And then for lips, we're going bolder. I'm going to use one of the St. Lux lip liners in the shade Morganite. This is like a brown. Ooh, I like that. It's the perfect contour shade. <gasps> and it's really creamy. Wait, I love the shade. This is literally the perfect everyday like contoury lip shade it's gonna go with so many products we're gonna go into thankful by rare beauty over top this is really hydrating i really like this formula this lip is the perfect everyday fall lip <gasps> okay these are going in my purse i love this lip really great items in this month's box can't believe we have the dominique palette the item palette the rare beauty lip this freaking lip liner oh my goodness so if you want to get these boxes, I'm going to have the link down below to sign up. Make sure you sign up before the end of November to receive the November base box or the premium box. BoxyCharm is the only subscription box where you can get full-size items, not just sample size. And when you subscribe, you're able to get 
full size brand name products every single month with free shipping. And if you do sign up, there is a gift with purchase. So you're able to snag five beauty products to your door monthly for only $27.99 a month. And you'll get one free full size item when you join. It's a great deal. It makes a great gift for yourself, but it also makes a great gift for somebody that you love a daughter, a sister, a cousin. I think they will really, really appreciate this. And again, a huge thank you to Bhakti Charm for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I'm gonna finish getting ready, get some breakfast, and we are gonna go shopping. So this is my favorite breakfast smoothie. I just need to share it with you. I'm gonna do about a third a cup of oats. This is a banana oat smoothie, by the way. Get some Greek yogurt to add some thickness. I'm just using non-fat plain Greek yogurt for this. I'm just doing like a spoonful or two. One frozen banana, about a tablespoon of peanut butter powder. I use peanut butter powder instead of regular peanut butter because it's so much lower calorie. There's no fats to it, and it adds that peanut buttery taste to your smoothie. Cinnamon, some honey. I'm gonna throw in a couple extra ice cubes in there. And then finish off with your milk of choice. I am a cashew milk stan. I will fight till the death to talk about how this is the best non-dairy. And now we blend. She is blended. She is beauty. Mmm, so stinking yummy. So what I'm wearing today is this set from Amazon. It's so cute. You can wear it kind of like a shirt dress style. It comes with matching shorts underneath. You can tuck in one side. You can tuck it all in. It looks like a really cute set as well. I'm going to wear it to kind of make it look like I'm wearing a shirt dress. Really cute and summery in the fall, <laughs> but whatever. And then I'm wearing my Kate Spade Wicker Love Shack bag. Really, really cutesy. Again, a fully summery outfit, but I don't care. I love it. And I'm going to wear some just like white sneakers with this. So we are pulling into the mall right now. I am going holiday purse shopping for the outlets because you guys know I love a good outlet deal. I love Kate Spade Surprise. I love Coach Outlet. We're going to check out the Tory Burch Outlet, though you can't get the Tory Burch Outlet online, but I'll still show you what they have. And then of course, we're at Sawgrass Mills Mall in, I think it's in Sunrise, Florida. So many stores. And yeah. There was a lot of background noise and music that would get me copyrighted, so I'm doing a lot of voiceover, but first hit is the Tory Burch outlet store. They were having 50% off and then an additional 10% off, but there were a lot of exclusions, so I thought that this bag looked super expensive and beautiful. It's very simple, and they had it in a bunch of different colors, and I also like this one with the leather strap. I think they all came with a leather strap. I like this kind of croc print. I I think it's cute and oh my gosh this bag charm <laughs> adorable and then here are some other bags that they had some more not much that i was really in love with i've seen a lot of this kind of sherpa material on so many of the bags and this is a good kind of papillon dupe from louis vuitton right i think it's a crossbody though and uh, this is a winter print if i've ever seen one Oh my gosh, tiny bags, tiny bags, forcing Jose to take a video of it <laughs> because a girl loves a tiny bag, okay? Adorable. And dying again because they have the tiny bag in the different prints and they do have these in a bigger size as well if you like the flap style of bag. This is like typical Tory Burch outlet. I'm not super in love with it, but look at this. Look at this bucket bag. I absolutely loved the chain detailing on this. I mean, I wanted to get it, but like not that bad, but I thought it was really beautiful. I've been really into shoulder bags lately. This one kind of looks Prada-y and I thought it was so cute. I didn't love this color, but I just wanted to see it against my body. And they have it again in that, I don't know, is it Sherpa, Shearling, whatever. I'm not a fan of it in this color personally. And then they had some very cute pattern little wallet on chains. 
here's another pretty wallet and I really like this this is perfect to hold your phone and it has a long strap on the inside and then a little baby strap with the card holders as well and then in here you'll see I'm showing you the leather strap that is on the inside and here are more of these really fun purses again I feel like more springtime appropriate but I thought they were so pretty and these are $199 I thought it was a little much and I wanted to show you these because they had such pretty holiday prints look at that one <laughs> I thought it was so cute and they had a whole nylon bag display which I've been into nylon bags lately so this one's kind of similar to a Prada and here is the whole display they had like backpacks and fanny packs and travel bags i was taking a look at the fanny pack though i don't need one but thought it was cute up next michael kors you guys i was not into the michael kors bags these are really good and functional kind of similar to louis vuitton and i like a two-tone bag they did a good job with this one you have this really cute simple bag that jose was displaying i love the sporty strap and you know me finding the tiniest bag and this one was the winner for tiniest bag of the day come on a piece of gum could go in there some tic tacs adorable now i believe this is supposed to be the outlets holiday collection and uh, personal opinion i think it's horrible and tacky looking i don't know jade if you like it but it was not my style so made a beeline towards kate spade after to make up for that trip this fuzzy tote was adorable if i still lived in a place that got cold i would highly consider this and my favorite part about kate spade outlet over the holidays is all of the glitter now it's not everybody's style but i once got a tote bag from kate spade that said glitter is my favorite color and i really feel like it's true every year for kate spade look at this glitter tote like who wouldn't want that many people but oh my gosh these just make the most perfect gifts and because they're outlets they're not that expensive this is so cute <laughs> classic kate spade and again a gingerbread house which i saw this was an additional 40 percent off online so check if you do want that i don't know here are some bucket bags that are more wintry and a penguin purse I mean, come on. This is the bag that I was wearing today, but in the polka dot pattern, I think that this one is so cute. It's the Love Shack bag, by the way, if in case you wanna get it. And this is my favorite thing that I saw, and I actually think I want this. I'm deciding still what color I'm gonna order online, I think. But I love this black sequin bag, and they also have it in red. And you can wear it crossbody or shoulder. Oh, and they also have it in silver as well. I just love this one. This one's my favorite one I've seen today. More glittery thing. And then I also thought this one would be really cute for the holidays. It has those little bedazzled on there. And I don't know why, but their animal right now are Dotsons. I'm not complaining, but okay, Kate, okay. More Dotsons and more glitter to finish off the Kate Spade drip. And then finally, we're finishing up over at Coach Outlet so much more mature than kate spade and i thought that their perfume sets looked really nice these are really great gift sets isn't that so cute with the perfume i was looking at this crossbody i love a flap and top handle and a small bag so this had all of that in one then here is some of the stuff that i saw on the shelf nothing really called out to me i did like the shape of this bag very fendi baguette style and more kind of that baguette style over here. Now this bag I came so close to getting. I thought it was adorable, but I didn't like the C as much and it was kind of expensive, but here I am trying it on. You can wear it shoulder or crossbody, but I really liked it, but I thought the C was a little obnoxious, so I opted against it. But the Nolita 19s were calling me. Like I love this one. I think it's so simple, but so classy. And then they have more colors of the bag that I was looking at. But this is smaller than the first one that I tried on. It's the Nolita 19 size. Ugh, the Nolita 19 section was calling me. I just love this size. It's so great for casual wear and it's small. It holds your phone. And then more small bags, which I'm very drawn to. Mm.
a semi-successful trip. So I made a rule I wasn't going to buy anything because I'm saving up money for Christmas gifts. And we're traveling, of course, to go to my parents' house. So I was like, we're not buying today. We are window shopping. I'm showing you guys what's in store. And then I'm going to share with you the best pieces. And honestly, the holiday collections right now, I don't know if they're going to put more stuff out, but a little underwhelming. I feel like the items that I saw online looked cuter, but nothing tempted me. So that says a lot because I'm very easily persuaded. So and then we walked through the mall, whatever. We didn't buy anything, which is the goal, but we're heading over to the Asian grocery store. We're gonna go to our favorite bubble tea place and I'll take you guys there. Bon Me 2020, y'all. We love everything here. Amazing. <laughs> New York Mart. Dumplings galore. Okay. Steamed bun heaven. are so good. E we'll get these. We're gonna get some shredded square. I love these. We're getting two. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> These Lay's spicy crawfish, roasted cumin lamb, Mexican chicken tomato, wasabi, seaweed, hot pot flavor. Oh my god. <laughs> Just keeps going. We love these. We're at Pho 07. I got a beef and meat looks amazing too. It is amazing. Oh, no. Okay, but Jose's is like freaking amazing. <laughs> Jose's second bubble tea and fourth drink of the day before 2 p.m. <laughs> Just got home, let's do an Asian grocery store haul. We don't really go to Asian grocery stores very often, so when we do, I like stock up on all my favorites. Today I didn't get as much frozen food because we had lunch after, but I needed a bamboo steamer because I've been steaming in my Instapot, which has been fine, but I just feel like you have more control with a bamboo steamer, so I got that. I'm not a cook though, so don't take cooking advice from me. We got so many snacks. We got smoke barbecue flavored, it's like seaweed tempura snack. And we got some seaweed snacks. These ones with the kimchi flavor, super duper good. We love them. We also love the spicy shrimp crackers. So we got two of these. Have another kimchi seaweed snack. This was a Jose. Crispy white sardines, tom yum flavor. These look really yummy. And this is also a Jose purchase. I've never seen that in my life, but it looks good. I don't even know how Jose knew what this was, but okay, we have this like seafood snack. And then I got some shredded squid, I love this. I also got this brand of shredded squid to try. Um, I love these easy little tea packets. They're called 315 teas. And they used to sell it at H Mart by my parents' house, and then they stopped selling it. And they stopped selling it on Amazon, so I couldn't find it. So I'm always so excited to see that this grocery store has them. So we have a few different 
fish balls that melted so i'm gonna throw these in the freezer but let's see i just got these fish balls and then like a combo of different fish balls i like to throw those in ramen and stew we needed some more chopsticks i got a daifuku which is like a red bean mochi kind of situation really yummy got these fish balls for our soups and ramen i also got some rice paper and then the last few things some laksa paste so there's laksa is a singaporean dish if you didn't know my mom's from singapore so this i ate growing up we get this ramen like instant laksa and it doesn't have enough laksa paste in there so i got this to put a little extra in my laksa instant rot laksa um, i got some onion salt some random basil seasoning and some rosemary seasoning that is what i got from the asian grocery store i've just been like laying you guys i never leave the house <laughs> whenever we leave to go somewhere i am so poop but we're doing a sampling of some of the new snacks that we got this is a crispy anchovy sichuan pepper flavor i'm not a fan personally it's like dry tasting what is this what is it i think it was like shark it's like wet i don't know i'm kind of <laughs> i'm not scared to eat things but not knowing what you got is freaking me out. Yeah. I don't know if I like it. It's, yeah, it's good. It's the weirdest spongy flavor. Throwing me off when you, it's like a sponge you're biting into, and when you bite into it, it's so oily. And this? That was 2 out of 10 for me. It's like a 5. Like the texture is good, but it has no flavor. It's just crunchy bread with oil. Just so you know, whenever Jose picks snacks from the Asian market, they're always disgusting. I don't That's know. That's not true. I don't know how he manages to do it, but he never picks out snacks that I like. You are so picky. I'm not even a picky eater. White sardines, Tom Yum flavored. Can you see? We love seafood. I love seafood Asian snacks. I am such a sweet person. I love sweet snacks and candies. But when it comes to Asian snacks, I love a salty fish chip Give me some. Mm, this smells really fishy nothing's beating my shrimp chips this is like a six, yeah. six and a half it tastes fishy oh <coughs> <coughs> there's a little spice at the end when you swallow well, this is my favorite that i've tried so far and it's i wouldn't even buy it again it's like really really crispy it tastes like a really dried up piece of fish skin is on the inside. The bread gets stuck in the throat. Spicy bread. It's spicy though. All right guys, so that's all I have for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed shopping with me, checking out all of the new handbags at the outlet center. I'm definitely gonna keep an eye out for when they start to go on sale. Right now, like going in person, it wasn't as exciting to me as what I saw online. So. I was a little disappointed, but there are a few that I think I might pick up. And then, of course, I hope you guys enjoyed my little Asian grocery and lunch session with me. You guys know what a foodie I am. And again, a huge thank you to BoxyCharm for sponsoring today's video. I will have a link down below to sign up. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Have a good one.